what's up guys yeah welcome back once again to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel do well to subscribe turn on the notification bell and also smash the like button so that youtube will recommend this video to more people so in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys my journey how i grew from two rabbits to what i actually have today so so many people uh, actually think you can't actually start rabbit farming very small but i started rabbit farming very small like the smallest way you can act you can ever start i think the smallest way you can ever start is, is just getting one female but i started rabbit farming very small with just one female and one male rabbit yes i started about two years ago it hasn't been really long since i started but i did a lot of researches even people many farmers that are very big they not really do the kind of researches i did i did a lot of researches i burned a lot of data i watched a lot of videos i read a lot of books about rabbits so um as that two years ago when i started i got one female rabbit and just one male rabbit i got it from a woman uh, who sells rabbit around me she she does a colony type of rabbit farming yes a colony type of rabbit farming is when like a deep litter type of uh, farming when you say deep litter is uh, just putting all the chicken in one room so if you say colony colony is just putting all your rabbits in one particular room then all of them interact with each other whether brothers and sisters all of them interact with each other a female rabbit if you have 10 female rabbits in that particular room and you have two males those 10 female rabbits can can give birth each side they will you know their corner they will give birth each side so it's actually also now i'll also be making a video why i don't do that type of farming i have the reasons why i don't do the disadvantages a lot of disadvantages that comes with it i will also make a video on that but this particular video is how i actually uh, started from two rabbits to what i have today so i got those two rabbits from that woman who sells the rabbits actually my friend actually introduced me to the rabbit farming business so i got those two rabbits when i started i didn't really start it as as a business i just started like i just loved them i just loved seeing, seeing them in my friend's house so i just said why not I can just get one female and one male and see how it goes. So when I bought those two uh, two rabbits, that one female and one male rabbit, the first cage I did, the first cage I used for my rabbit, I actually did it on my own. So when you see me having a rabbit today, you don't just think I just grew up boom from from somewhere and just started uh, getting rabbit and just started uh, building cages. The first cage I did, I made it on my own. The second cage I did, I made it on my own. I didn't call any carpenter to do any cage for me. So that is that is what uh, that is how I actually uh, started. The first cage I made it on my own. My second cage I still made it on my own. I can even show you guys the second cage is still here, very very okay. I, I will put in a, a picture of the second cage in this video so that you guys can see it how it is. The second cage I did it on my own. So when I did that first cage, the first cage was just two rooms. The two rooms were side by side, one here, one here. They were together. They it, it, it just like normal standing cage, two rooms. Then for the floor, I didn't use mesh. Like I did not really know that you really need to use a uh, wire mesh so that their droppings can be falling off. Because the the person I saw keeping rabbits did not use mesh. He used the same hood. So I did the same. I put hood for the floor. Then just put the roof over it. Then I now build it and put the door. Yes. So the floor of it, I did not put a uh, mesh, wire mesh. Then it was those two rooms. So the first time I actually crossed my female rabbit with my male, my male, my female was older than my male. And I, that was another mistake I made. You don't really need your female to be older than your male. Your male has to be older. So that was another mistake I made. My female was older than my male. So when I the first time I crossed them together, because the way that that particular person who, who uh, put me into the business was doing was that he would just take his female put it in his uh, with his male and they would stay there for like one week and that was how, actually how i learned to do it so the first time i put them there after one week i removed her and i noticed she was not pregnant after one month and i now took i now only uh, discovered that my male has to be older and i now took my female to his own male and his own male now crossed it the first ever time my rabbit gave birth, it gave birth to stillborns, dead kids. When I say stillborns, I mean dead kids. Because of the kind of feeding I was giving them, because of the kind of feeds I was giving them. I didn't really know uh, there are some kind of leaves you are not supposed to be giving your rabbit. Actually, that particular day, 
when my rabbit gave birth to stillborns, I gave her purple leaf. Yes, that's why I've, I've always been emphasizing you should not give your rabbit some kind of few leaves when they are pregnant. So the first time my rabbit actually, uh, uh, the, the first time my rabbit was pregnant, supposed to give birth, I actually gave her purple leaf and she had a miscarriage and I lost all the kids. I was so discouraged. Like, the first time, why is, it, why is this happening to me? I will see my friends on giving birth and mine is just like so I went online, I did a lot of researches I learned a lot of things just within, within that day because I watched a lot of videos just that night so I discovered that there, there, are, not, there are some kind of leaves you are not supposed to be giving your rabbit that contains a lot of antibiotics so I now said okay when my rabbit is pregnant I won't even give it, give it any leaves at all I will just avoid giving it leaves so um the second and i now left her for like two weeks then i now took her back to my mail now and i now took her back to my mail my mail didn't still cross it and i now took her back to my friend's mail after crossing it i kept her inside the cage was feeding her just feet 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 i was getting feed buying feeds for her then after exactly 31 days the rabbit gave birth gave birth to i think the first that first time when she successfully gave birth she just gave birth to four kids just four kids and all the four kids were with palominos because the, the mother was palomino i still have it here the rabbit is still all the four kids with palomino then I, I think three were palominos then one dutch like brown and white one dutch i got from that particular crossing then i now started keeping them i was watching a lot of videos how to keep the kids then I, did, I, I i was scared to touch them because i heard some people saying if you touch the kids the kids will die so i was scared to touch those kids so i was just keeping them like the mother made it a, a then I, I didn't use the nesting box i didn't know what nesting box was I, she just gave birth on that hood on the surface of that hood she she put some of her four and kept them some uh, one side of the cage there then i put a little cloth to like guide them yes that was what i did so what i noticed was that for her giving birth on that floor eh, i had to be coming to be checking them very often because sometimes one of the kids will roll out of the, the clothes and almost going out of the cage it just the door now that will wedge it yes so i'll just come and pick it back and put it in there so that's why you also need to get a nesting box i now learned after that i now got a nesting box i was now adding things little by little little by little before i now did another cage uh, containing eight rooms that i did about i think that that cage is about two years ago i did it uh, i think last year and i did that particular one then i was learning a lot of things even that particular one of eight rooms i did it wasn't actually um wire meshed i used for the floor i still used hood but the way i did that particular one was that i cemented the floor I cemented the floor of the wood yes, i cemented it again so by then i now knew about hybrids i went to get one hybrid from uh, one one of my uh, um the fellow rabbit farmers around me i went to get one hybrid i noticed the way this particular one was growing the, the way this particular one kids were growing was not the same as the ones i was keeping before and i discovered the there are differences between hybrids and and local breeds and dwarf breeds so i now discovered there were very big differences so what i used to do was that i will take my dwarf breed to his mail and go and cross it there since he had a hybrid mail then it will give me hybrid kids that was how i i managed to change almost all my uh, uh rabbits to hybrids then i now got some few breeds again I, I, that was about last year beginning of last year i now got some few good breeds like some some angoras some checkered rabbits and i said i really need to get good breeds so that i can really go into rabbit farming full time yes so i now got some few good breeds and boom i started like before getting those few good breeds i was doing some sales some little little sales then i was putting back to the business sometimes when you are selling your rabbit you'll be thinking this is the profit coming out you don't know this is actually your money so when you're selling don't don't be like eating the money you need to also be investing inside again because as, as you're starting what you really need to do is when you sell you invest when you sell you reinvest when you sell you reinvest at that period when i started i didn't used to buy feeds all i used to feed my rabbits is just leaves i used to feed them just leaves i don't used to buy any feed so i the, the cost of feeding was was off for me yes the cost of feeding was off for me 
then another thing also that uh, I don't used to do is that I, I didn't used to get any medications. Any rabbit that got sick in my farm, <laughs> he, if he does not get well on his own, it will eventually die. So I didn't used to get uh, drugs, I didn't used to get any medication, I didn't used to buy feed. So um, the cost of that was not actually on me, but I, I lost almost the, some of the rabbits I, I, I would have not lost if I knew what I knew today. Some of the rabbits I would, I would have not lost, I lost it because of um, lack of knowledge. So that, that was when I now uh, still and think about how I actually started, I now said no. I don't, I don't think anyone should uh, pass through some few uh, mistakes I did. I don't think anyone should actually make mistakes I made when I started. So that, that was uh, what actually made me start the YouTube channel. Start to put videos out there for people to learn uh, so that you won't make any mistake at all. If you follow my YouTube channel from when I started till now, I don't think there, any, there is anything you want to ask anyone about Rabbit Family because I've done a lot of videos. More than 70 videos are here and more are still coming. So if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the bell notification, like this video, most especially. And also, if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, you are welcome. And to my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you once again, and do have a nice day. Peace out.